Hello, this is Team Anveshak from Center for Innovation, IIT Madras. We are a team of 30 building a rover for competing at the Innovative Rover Challenge 2017. The team is structured into four subdivisions, mechanical design, electronics and electrical subsystems, software and public relations. We have designed our rover based on a modified rocker bogey suspension system. An articulation joint gives additional stability to the components on the rover and allows the rover to survive falls from a height of 50 cm. Our wheels are custom designed to achieve a superior surface contact and maneuverability on underwent terrain. These wheels also serve as a protective casing for the motors. The structural simulations that we have performed have enabled us to analyze stress patterns in various components of the rover. The robotic arm has 6 degrees of freedom and is designed to weigh less but carry more. All our actuators are mounted on the rover base itself. The linear actuator mounted at the back and two motors on the front base together positions the end defector. Over the previous design, the, this one has more weight balance achieved by grounding the arm at two points. We have also made use of different gears to transmit rotation which enhances the functionality of the arm in a restricted space. The use of worm gears prevent the back reliability of the motor. For the control of the arm, we found that the use of a mimic arm is much more intuitive and robust as opposed to using inverse kinematics. The gripper is a model at 3 digit subsystem which can pick up objects of various shapes and sizes. A single motor coupled to an ACME lead screw actuates both the rolling and gripping motion. A spring loaded locking mechanism is used to switch between the two modes of actuation. The digger consists of three subsystems, soil extraction, soil collection and soil sampling. The soil is extracted from the ground using a drill and is collected into a specially designed 3D printed cache container from which we can obtain a sealed sample of soil for further testing. Temperature and moisture sensors are connected to the base plate of the digger and can be inserted into the ground to qualitatively assess the suitability of soil for supporting life. Modularity has been the focus of our electronic system design. The rover runs a full-fledged computer which has been chosen over Raspberry Pi to have access to higher processing power and future scalability. It interfaces with other electronics to the main control board. Standard lithium polymer batteries serve as the main power source to the rover providing a runtime of about 30 minutes. The high torque drive motors are controlled using a 3 dual channel H-bridge motor drivers powered by 24 volt lithium polymer batteries. We have implemented a 6 wheel semi-differential drive with inputs from joystick for executing sharp, smooth and zero radius turns. Compact printed circuit boards have been designed and fabricated keeping in mind the safety of circuitry from the power distribution system. Custom kill switch PCBs have been fabricated to cut off power supply to the active elements of the rover. In the main control board module, we are using two Arduino Megas, one of which takes care of a locomotion and other miscellaneous tasks such as panel motion of cameras. Other Mega handles the ARM module as well as the various sensors data. Other than this, we have designed two separate PCBs for gripper and uh, mimic ARM module which consists of our uh, Atmega 328 chip and other required connections. The battery management system PCB is used to monitor the voltages of the LiPos at the base station. In order to tackle the challenge of long-range communication, we are making use of two off-the-shelf TP-Link routers operating at a frequency of 2.4 GHz. We have been able to achieve low latency, high-resolution video transmission. We are integrating high-gain external antennas with the routers to resolve the issue of lossy communication in non-line-of-state conditions. Aiming towards a scalable technology, we have developed our entire software stack using the ROS framework. We leverage this framework to develop our own meta packages which contains our novel algorithms for the smooth and robust control of the rover. The controls for the drive, the manipulator, digger and the sign stars are commissioned to the rover with the use of a joystick from the base station. We have simulated path planning and obstacle avoidance by using computer vision algorithms and techniques like adaptive Monte Carlo localization and extended Kalman filter and data from lidar, GPS and IMU sensors on the rover. We are in the process of porting our autonomous traversal algorithm to the actual rover. The science plan of Team Anvishu focuses on testing the soil samples recovered from the rover for essential nutrients that are key for supporting plant life. First, we will perform a pH test. Based on the test results, we will further proceed with tests for carbonates, sulfates, nitrates and phosphates which are vital for sustenance of life.